I want to talk about Myanmar again. This is a country in Southeast Asia. Its military ousted a U.S.-backed or U.S.-installed client regime headed by Aung San Suu Kyi and her National League for Democracy. And I've talked about how Aung San Suu Kyi and her party had been funded, backed, and directed essentially by Washington through organizations like the National Endowment for Democracy and how at one point the government was in exile in Maryland right outside of Washington DC. So it is absolutely a puppet government of Washington. And so when you hear the Western media talk about the opposition wanting to return the country to democracy, there was no democracy. Democracy is a process of self-determination. Everything about the government ousted in Myanmar back in February of this year is being determined in Washington. So this has nothing to do with democracy. This has to do with the US putting a US client regime into power in a country that borders China and in a country that uh, was a key player in the Belt and Road initiatives. This is what's going on in Myanmar. And I want to do this video because I want to show you just how dishonest the Western media is in reporting this. So let's take a look at this New York Times article. I didn't look like a human journalist tells of Myanmar torture. And they're talking about Ko Ang Kyo. There he is. And they're talking about all of this torture he allegedly uh, endured. But then right down here it says, the New York Times could not independently corroborate the specifics of Mr. Ang Kyo's treatment. And then they say, but reports of torture in custody have been widespread since the military seized power in a February 1st coup. Uh, reports of torture in custody have been widespread. What kind of reports? Other reports that the New York Times and others could not verify. So that's all this is, it's hearsay. And you have to ask yourself, what kind of journalist would file an entire report uh, where everything in the report cannot be verified? Is that journalism or is that propaganda? Now, I want to show you some other things in this uh, New York Times article that kind of reveals that this is nothing but deliberate propaganda. If you come down here, it says, Mr. Ang Kyo, a video journalist for the independent Democratic Voice of Burma. Democratic Voice of Burma is not independent, has been funded for over 20 years by the National Endowment for Democracy, the U.S. government. They would not exist without this U.S. government funding, and they don't report news. Uh, they spread propaganda in favor of Washington's interests in Myanmar. This is what they do, and we know that because it's even on the NED's official website. This is from 2010, revolutionary media in, in Burma, and it says down here, the NED has been a consistent supporter of the democratic voice of Burma for over the past decade. So, and, and the people from DVB are always in Washington hanging out with the National Endowment for Democracy. It's a very cozy relationship. It's not independent in any way. It's an extension of the US State Department. It's, it's media efforts in Myanmar are being overseen by organizations like Democratic Voice of Burma, the Irrawaddy, uh, Myanmar Now. If the New York Times didn't do any background checking for Democratic Voice of Burma and just said it was a media organization that this guy was working for, you, you might be able to let it go. But they had to go and put the word independent. This was very deliberate. If you're saying it's independent, it means you know who funds Democratic Voice of Burma and you know that they're independent. But if you knew who funded Democratic Voice of Burma, you would know that they weren't independent. So this is the New York Times being deliberately dishonest with their readers, blatantly lying to them, uh, passing Democratic Voice of Burma off as independent when it's no such thing. That's done very deliberately. And if you come down here, they talk about uh, these statistics, alleged statistics of people who have died or who have been arrested, and it's all according to AAPP. What is the AAPP? I've talked about them before. It's this right here, Assistance Association for Political Prisoners. And it's not even based in Myanmar, it's based in Thailand, right across the border in Thailand. And the founder and joint secretary of the Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, AAPP, is Mr. Ko Bo Chi. There he is. He's a fellow at the National Endowment for Democracy, and the National Endowment for Democracy funds 
his organization, AAPP. So do you think it's a coincidence that the New York Times uh, brought up two, two organizations funded by the U.S. government through the National Endowment for Democracy and just never thought of mentioning that? that fact that they're both backed by the US government. And what does this tell you about the New York Times' coverage of the situation in Myanmar? It tells you they're trying to spin it, they're trying to cover up the US government's involvement in this. They want you to think that this is a some sort of democracy movement, some sort of process of self-determination and the people in Myanmar yearning for democracy, when in reality it's the US government trying to get their puppets back into power. And every single person that they talk about, every article that they write has people linked directly to the US government, funded by the US government in their articles. I thought it was really important to point this out. I want to show people just how dishonest the Western media is in regards to Myanmar. Well, in regards to everything that they're reporting, but especially in regards to Myanmar, literally no one else in the English language is talking about Myanmar in any sort of honest way. There are news developments every, every week and I'm really the only one covering it. So please, if you thought this video was uh, useful or interesting, please like and share it. Get this information out to as many other people as possible. Uh, try to get more people talking about this because they get away with these things when no one's pushing back. They could say anything that they want about Myanmar and they will get away with it because there's literally no one else out there speaking up about this. Not in English, not that I've seen. So please like and share this video. Think about subscribing. It helps the channel grow. It's totally free to do. Check out my website, newatlas.report. Bookmark it, share it with others. There's no paywall. There are no ads. There never will be. You can find and follow all of my work there. I'm also on Twitter for the time being at Brian underscore Berletic. I'm also on Weibo. And you can find the links to all of these uh, down in the video description below, along with all of the links that I just talked about in this video. Also in the video description are ways you can help support my work and to everyone who has been, whether it's once a month through Patreon or through one-time donations, or even if you are just sharing my work with others, I greatly appreciate that. I could not do this work without the support of my audience. So thank you. And as always, thank you for watching.